What do you mean we're receiving a signal? A signal from where? From who? I do not understand entirely, but we are receiving a transmission on the lower frequency band. It is originating from the outer edge of our solar system. I'm sure it's nothing. Let the authorities handle it. I do not believe they are aware of it. This signal uses a coaxial differentiant that exists in a unique layer of cell space unknown to humanity at this time. I believe this signal is intended for me, or us. Um, can you like, put it on the screen or something? The signal is audio only, but I can play the message. Please stand by. The message is clearly incomplete, and I am not able to recover any additional information as the signal continues to degrade. However, I believe I know who sent this message. The suspense is killing me. Who is it? This message is being sent from units similar to my own, from the future. I believe this message is a warning. Oh. I mean, that, that's really weird. I, I thought you were one of a kind. I mean, I did too. Kinda. If we're counting votes, then me too. I totally thought that. You did kind of let us think that. It is true that in this time and place, I am unique and one of a kind. However, I was manufactured in the future for machines capable of... Yes, we know all this. Warning for what? I do not have enough information to form a reasonable explanation or answer at this time. We simply require more information. What about, like, responding? Can you do that or something? I have already relayed a response, but it is not being received. Tick, can you play the message again? Late. Afraid. We failed. Mission. Does anyone else, like, get the feeling that they're, like, warning us of distress or something? That is exactly what I thought. Take a look at this tick. You see that pattern underlying the message? Analyzing. Analyzing. These are the access codes to the Earth's core mainframe. The mainframe? Of, like, the planet? All planets or worlds have a mainframe near the core to manage the environmental elements of the game. I swear it's like you don't listen. Middle Earth has been locked down the past few weeks. I can't even get a message to my family. It might be related. Why would these robots from the future have Earth's mainframe codes? And why would they send them to you? Periodically, the mainframe needs to be shut down, rebooted, and brought back online. Typically, this is done during a solar eclipse, if and when it is necessary. 
My people have safeguarded this process since the dawn of time. Earth's game is slightly more complicated than other games. The core manages all three aspects of this game and maintains the disconnect between them. I think there is a scheduled shutdown later this week. These codes allow for a complete reprogramming of the mainframe upon reboot. I can't determine the parameters based on the information provided. I do not know if the changes will be better or worse. We had better be sure, for there will be heaven and hell on Earth. I've correlated the origin of the signal with reports of a meteor sighting here in the Arctic, maybe five miles from here. It might be a long shot, but I think they may have attempted a crash landing. Ted, you and AD get to the crash site. See what you can find out. Yes, David. I mean, yes, Captain. I'll start up the snow machine. Up. Continue monitoring all communications in and out of that area. I don't want any surprises. And can you find Ted the company credit card? I think the snow machine needs gas. For sure. Totally understood in everything, sir. Captain, perhaps I should join AD and Ted in recovery operations. I believe I am better suited to find what we are currently looking for. Agreed. Stay in communication and keep a low profile. The goal is to get information, recover technology, and offer assistance if it's needed. Understood, Captain. AD and Tick? You're with me. There is nothing here. That is because you do not know what you are looking for. Our programming is not limited to the confines of our metallic forms. Like Wi-Fi? More accurately, a transfer. Vessels in the future are manned by artificial intelligence such as myself. As a result, those vessels do not need to be very large in mass. I think we might have company. They are giants. It's okay. These are my people. Wait, Ted. When have you ever known giants to be armed? They must be looking for the wreckage as well. They will be unable to locate it. How can you be certain? Because I have already located and salvaged the vessel. I have completed our mission. Oh, wow. I mean, that is really small. The vessel appears to be intact and undamaged. We'll have Scott take a look at it. Maybe he can access its computer core. Guys, take my hands. We can blink back to the headquarters. What about the snow machine? We still need to get gas. We can't just leave it here. Yes, for sure, maybe. I mean, giants for sure, yeah. But, like, it's weird and everything, because, like, they are going out of their way, maybe, to, like, convert, or maybe be, like, hidden or something. They're, like, definitely trying to hide and, like, don't want to be noticed, maybe. I don't think it's a coincidence. Any word from the away team? Oh my god, I like totally forgot to tell you. Yeah, they are like on their way back and everything, and like they asked for Scott to meet them to like analyze or like maybe repair something. I'm not really sure. Operations to Scott. Scott here, Captain. Ted, AD, and Tick are on the way back with salvage from the crash site. Meet them at entrance one and let me know when you have something. Got to ops. You may want to come take a look at this, Captain. Understood, Scott. I'm on the way. Ark, stay here and monitor our security systems. Maintain yellow alert status and stay sharp. Got it. Op, continue monitoring all communications of those giants. Let me know if you find anything. Like, no problem at all or anything, Captain. I'll be in Engineering Lab 1 if anyone needs me. I don't understand. Where is its propulsion system? Ultra Nano Micro Technology. Unlike anything we have on Earth. Not yet. 
Scott has managed to interface Tick's processor with the ship's computer core. We're ready. Are you sure? Once I initiate the transfer, I won't be able to stop it. I am quite aware of the risks involved. Please proceed with the transfer. Captain. Do it. All right. Initiating the transfer. Computer, initiate the transfer. Initiating transfer. Processing. 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 Transfer complete. Tick, are you all right? Yes, the transfer is complete. I now share my processor with a second artificial intelligence. This processor is not built for g minds. I am aware of this. However, there was no choice and we were not able to completely decipher your distress call. That was very careless. You have put us both at risk. I believe the risk to be acceptable. Please elaborate on your distress signal while we still have the time. This world is in danger. There are internal elements within the game that have gained access to the core mainframe and wish to deactivate the world as you know it. They have initiated a war and are on the verge of taking over Middle Earth. History records Earth never received patch version 1.02 and never left the open data process. As a result, elements from within the game have been managed to seize control, enslaving the players. Can't we just log out? Yes, but most of the players are not aware of this from within their current experience. We have devised a counter and work around the removal of patch version 1.02. Now that my program is merged with this one, I will require your help. Middle Earth has been completely locked down and fortified. It will not be easy to get to the core. If what you are saying is true, both games are in jeopardy. Our vessel suffered extreme damage when entering a temporal wake. Unable to complete our mission, we sent the signal to you. You are the last hope. I really hate to be the pessimistic one here, but are you sure we can trust him? My program would be capable of detecting any irregularities in his sincerity. Okay, but how do we even know which one of you is talking right now? Plus, I wasn't really asking you. We don't have a choice. We have to see what's happening in Middle Earth, and if there is a threat to the core, we must stop it. Like, totally confirmed, Captain. Comms indicate that, like, Middle Earth is under siege or something. It's all quiet on the home front, sir. The giant squad has returned home. I know a way back into Middle Earth. I think we can get inside, but we will have to maintain a very low profile. Speaking of low profile, I am not sure a robot in the middle of Middle Earth is the best idea. I'm a pretty good engineer, but the computer core of the Earth is a bit out of my league. We have to bring him. Can we transfer him back into the vessel? Being so small, it should be easily concealed. I believe so, but we will have to make repairs, and we'll have to figure out some kind of an interface. We will devise a way for the vessel to directly interface with the core. It should be as simple as plug and play. Good. I like simple. Scott, can I have a word for a moment? I want you, Tick, and Ark to stay here. Monitor the area and keep us updated. I know it is slightly beyond your abilities, but keep looking at that code. Let me know if you find anything. Captain? Do what you can. Yes, sir. So, what did he say? The core is extremely guarded, but he gave me his access codes to enter the area. Remind me to send your father a thank you card. I highly doubt he will ever let us forget. What about your brother? There's still no sign of him. He may be caught up in the battle. I really wouldn't worry about it. I'm not worried. He is a seasoned warrior and can take care of himself. I overheard reports from the front line. It's not going well. They're gonna lose the entrance. We are completely running out of time. I'm afraid I can't advise you. My history shows no record of these events. Stay down. This way. I am detecting weapons fire. It is originating from the entrance to Middle Earth. Um, calm chatter, like, confirmed, sir. And, like, they are totally going at it? I mean, 
verbally. I estimate the probability of human forces will be successful in breaching the Earth defenses to be extremely likely. How long do we have? We can't just sit here and do nothing. I estimate the line will fall within the hour. The captain was, like, pretty specific that we, like, remain here and stuff. And, like, we can't contact them or anything because of, like, interference from, like, the battle zone, I think. Tick. Seal all entrances, engage inertial dampeners, and bring the atmospheric thrusters online. What? Wait! You mean- I'm setting course for the battle zone. If you have any objections, now would be the time. Since when can we, like, fly and stuff? This structure has always been capable of flight and interstellar travel. However, during the last few years, we have salvaged many components to cope with the environmental effects of this region. I had to borrow parts from several of the key systems just to get the furnace going. Um, like, I mean, we have to do something. I mean, the captain might be in trouble. You're the boss, boss. But if you want my opinion, you know I'm always up for kicking ass. The captain left you in command. I will follow your orders, but we may have difficulties retaining flight. Acknowledge. Do what you can, but keep us in the air. Okay, so like, what is the plan once we get there and everything? We're gonna support the giant force and help them hold the line so the away team can do their job. In other words, we are going to buy them time. If we can manage to get in the air. I've managed to bring our shields to 15%, we will have to do for now. Not sure about the weapons. If I can just reroute the secondary relays to the primary... Damn it! There simply is not enough power to maintain shields and activate weapons. We can't risk depleting our dilithium reserves. Tick, your power core is extremely advanced compared to our systems, right? I believe my power core would be sufficient to cover our power needs. It would not have any negative effect on my performance. Except you will be, like, tethered to the wall, right? No, I can maintain the connection without a tether. Make it so. Communications are being jammed. We are not able to contact headquarters. The human invasion force is jamming all known and available frequencies. We're on our own. How close are we to the core? Just up ahead, through that cavern. Uh, Ted? Isn't that your brother? Yes. Wait here. I'll go talk to him. Alright, make it quick. Contact with the giants, sir. They're, like, grateful for our help and stuff. Red alert. Shields up, bring weapon systems online. Power levels are steady. Structural integrity stabilized. Shields are now at 20%. Weapons are online, sir. Ready to fire on your command. Target the bombers, but keep an eye on those fighter jets. We're like being jammed or something. I've lost contact with the giant force, I think. The fighters are moving to intercept. They're too fast. I can't maintain weapon clock. We're taking massive damage to the hull. We can't keep this up much longer. There are two fatal of them. Our shields are beginning to fail, and there are hull breaches on the second floor. Seal the deck. Sir Scott, sir, I'm detecting another vessel of, like, unknown design. Entering the area now. We cannot fight on two fronts. We've done all we can do here. Prepare to retreat. Oh, uh, Sir Scott, I'm getting a transmission from that ship, I think. Patch it through the monitor. Oh, hello. It looks like you need my help. Yet again. Laura? Where have you been? Where did you come from? What are you doing here? Your time is extraordinary. Not really. I've been monitoring your power since the Taking the power behind my vessel. Try on the next story. Okay? Laura out. The Pixie vessel is outmaneuvering the fighter jets. Maintain position, but keep us in the fight. Providing cover fire. Understood, Scott. Um, I think we have managed to re-establish contact with the giant Scott, sir. The human ground forces are retreating or something. It's like hard to make out. The bombers are also retreating. The pixie vessel has managed to destroy the vast majority of the fighters. Ah, 
inform the giants who will remain in the area should they need further support. No problem, sir. The pixie vessel is hailing. Putting it through now, Scott, sir. Do you mind telling me what this is all about? Got with us. It's a long story. Ah, fine. Initiate docking procedures. I'll be right over. Awesome. I'll put on the kettle. Somebody roll one. Scott, sir. I'm like getting a strong feeling, maybe. I think the away team might be in, like, trouble or something. This isn't good. It looks like they're taking him into custody. It would appear Ted's brother is not playing for our team any longer. It certainly appears that way. I never did like him. He always seemed to just be a little too power hungry. Do you know what I mean? I estimate our mission with a 90% chance to fail. I thought I was the pessimistic one. We have to intervene. Ted is the only one who knows the way. What do you have in mind? We are severely outmanned. We need a distraction. I think I have an idea, but it won't be pretty. Let's hear it. It would appear the surface forces are regrouping. Still no word from the away team? No. And like, it doesn't make sense or anything? Because like, we aren't being jammed anymore? I think. We've managed to buy them some time at least. Keep trying to contact them. We need to know their status. I'll contact Pixie Intelligence operatives within Middle Earth. Maybe they can find something out. We could use help with repairs. Think you can spare a few engineers? You do know that most Pixies do not tolerate lesser beings, right? I'll stay out of their way, I promise. We will also require fuel. My power source cannot sustain this structure indefinitely. Anything else? I mean, I did say it would not be pretty. Alright then, very messy. We don't have any other options. Very well, but you will have to explain it to Ted's father. I don't believe he likes me very much. Something about his disdain for help or something along those lines. No, seriously. Sir Scott, sir, communication from like Middle Earth or something. We are being ordered to like stand down, me. They are instructing us to retreat to three kilometers, I think. Inform Middle Earth we aren't going anywhere until we recover our away team. They cut the channel, Sir Scott, sir. Pixie intelligence reports suggest an internal conflict has erupted inside Middle Earth. It doesn't look good. Taking advantage of the situation to gain power. Thanks to the help of the Pixie, we are now operating at 100% efficiency. Can we sustain flight through the entrance? I believe so. However, we will have to disable their defenses. Leave that to me. I will activate a sleeper cell within Middle Earth and give instructions to take down the defenses to the entrance. It won't be a problem. We'll need to coordinate. We can't leave them defenseless in case the service decides to launch another attack. Tick, how long will it take to travel through the entrance? Without interruption or resistance, I estimate it will take no more than 15 minutes. I intend to take this structure into Middle Earth. Tick. Maintain yellow alert. Pop. Keep monitoring the channels. I did say it would not be pretty. My brother is attempting to seize control of Middle Earth. He would appear to have a lot of support. We need to get out of here. Getting to the core just got a whole lot more difficult. It's heavily guarded. We'll have to engage the resistance forces led by my brother. Exactly why would your brother prevent us from delivering this update? My guess is he's working with the surface. 
timing of this is not a coincidence. I hate to admit it, but I think you're right. This way. I just received word. Perimeter defenses will go down in about five minutes. And will remain offline for exactly 15 minutes. Lower the shields to 50% and dampen our power signature. Take all non-essential systems offline. Acknowledge activating grid mode. Let's hope nobody's looking out the window. We gamble. Attentions will be diverted to get the defenses back online. Um, that's like a pretty big gamble, maybe. We can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. This is our only option. With luck, they won't notice until we are on the inside. If nothing else, we'll get a jump start. It is important to note, for record, our actions will breach agreements currently established between our office and Middle Earth. Noted, but I'm not abandoning our people. I'm receiving a coded transmission from my vessel. That's it. Defenses have been taken offline. It's now or never. Take us in. We're completely surrounded. We need to retreat and try this again. We don't have enough firepower. They've cut off all the escape routes. If we get captured and have to repeat this level, I'm going to be extremely upset. If we are captured, we will be tried and we will face execution for being enemies of this state. I don't see any other way out of this. Scott 208 team. Looks like you can use some assistance down there. Sit tight. We got this. The soldiers are moving to provide cover. They've managed to clear the passage. We must hurry. Maintain our position. Keep laying down cover fire. They have moved and are now engaging us. Their weapons are no match for our shields. They have not signal for air support. Confirm, Sir Scott. Sir, the strike force is being dispatched, I think. How long do we have before they get here? I estimate we have roughly ten minutes before we are engaged. That better be enough time to be awaiting. We've done all we can from here. It's up to them now. Drop your weapons immediately and surrender. I promise you will receive a fair trial. Lower your weapons. E.D., lower your weapon. Ugh, fine. Why are you preventing the core from being updated, brother? You are betraying all our people. Everything we stand for, you are betraying it. Our people, Ted? What do you know about our people? You abandoned and dared to lecture me. Your assumptions are misguided. Enlighten me, brother. Why have you done this? It's really simple, Ted. Our father has sold us out. He refuses to accept and utilize our true power and potential. We should be ruling this game, not simply caretakers, but enforcers. I can't believe that! I can. What? I can. We need to show strength and take control of the game. Nothing short of this is acceptable. Except now you fight on two fronts, from topside and from within. We have a workaround patch, brother. That's why we're here, not to interfere in your conflict but to save the game. If you would just allow us to help. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hail the away team immediately. They're like too deep in the cavern, Sir Scott. 
I am not able to, like, establish a connection with them, I think. Middle Earth defenses have mobilized. Three minutes to intercept. I'm going down there. Tick, you have the command center. Hold them off for as long as you can. Then, get out of here. I feel compelled to point out Regulation 003. You have your orders. Laura, you're with me. We salvaged the vessel and reconfigured it to deliver the patch. If you will just very well proceed. I can establish a Wi-Fi connection and embed the transmission within subspace. The transfer will take roughly 4 minutes and 25 seconds. However, once the connection is established, there is no reason to remain until it is finished. All right, with your permission. Permission granted. You may proceed. Everybody, drop your weapons. Easy. I said, drop your weapons. You heard her. Captain, you alright? We're fine, Scott. Report. Stop the transfer, Captain. With help from the Pixie, we've determined Earth is never scheduled for an update at this time. Pixie are informed by email prior to any update of the system. And we have not received an email. Continue the update, Captain, or I will kill my brother. Do not tempt me. What are you doing, brother? For too long, our people have been content to sit back, monitor, but never get involved. We've watched for eons as Topside becomes more and more powerful, while our father throws away our future in the name of peace. It is time to strike back. The giants at the crash site, they were your people? Yes, Captain. And now, thanks to you, we have the means to take complete control of the game. Continue the update. I will not ask you again. You would kill your own brother. He's bluffing. Don't listen to him, Captain. You must not give him what he wants. All right, everyone take it easy. You want to continue the update? Do it yourself! Are you all right? Yes, Captain. But now he has the program. I locked it out with an encryption code. He won't be accessing it anytime soon. We must get out of here. Captain. Permission to remain behind. If I can get in contact with my father, I may be able to stop this before it gets out of control. I will remain with you, Captain. I can blink back to headquarters easily enough if things get crazy. Alright, but be careful. Keep in constant contact with us. We will lay down cover fire. Go now! This way, Captain. Shields are holding, but we won't be able to sustain them indefinitely. They are, like, not responding to my hails or anything, Sir Fixer. Maintain our position, bring shields to full power, and prepare all weapons. All hands, this is Tick. Battle station. Receiving communication from the away team, Sir Kixer. Putting it through now, I think. Away team to operations. We're ready to leave. Now. Understood, Captain. Ark, I'm descending to the surface. Prepare to drop our shields. Understood, sir. Dropping shields. Sir Kixer, the away team is on board. We've taken a significant amount of damage, but I believe we are still capable of fighting. Flying a course out here. Captain on the bridge. Good to have you back, sir. Report! We've taken a significant amount of damage, but we are sustaining our flight trajectory. 
I've plotted a course out of Middle Earth. We're being pursued by Middle Earth air defense, Captain. I've been, like, trying to hail them and everything, but, like, they're ignoring us. It's good to see you again, Sir Captain. It's good to be back. AD and Ted are staying behind to help Middle Earth. For now, the threat to the game has been averted. We're approaching the entrance. It's good to see you again, Laura. Thanks for the help. Alert stations, people! Entering weapons range, Captain. They have locked onto us. Maintain our course. All weapons fire at will. We're gonna punch our way through. Middle Earth air defense are disengaging. Our shields are at 42% and falling. Our levels are dropping throughout this structure. We're losing life support! Rerouting additional power from emergency. It won't be enough, Captain. How long till we are through? One minute, fifty-two seconds. Fire everything we've got. I don't want to get stuck here during the Middle Earth Civil War. Direct to your primary weapons array. Secondary's coming online now. I see it. Captain, we've made it. They are no longer in pursuit. We are now leaving weapons range. Set course for home. Scott, I want a full damage report. Understood, sir. Course set, Captain. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. BD! I was so worried about you and everything. Are you okay? Ted and I managed to help his father with regaining control from his brother. Needless to say, Middle Earth has been locked down. Ted has remained to assist with the cleanup. What about the cat? I do not know. Ted's brother managed to escape. We believe to the surface. He has the vessel and program with him. The surface will not be capable of deciphering the code. They simply lack the necessary technology. Don't be too sure. Whatever happens, the core must be guarded and protected at all times. I will take my leave of you now, Captain. I've been summoned to provide my report to Pixie Intelligence. Provide my thanks for their assistance. Good to see you again, Laura. Do you think Ted's brother was working with the surface the entire time? I mean, I never did like him much. He just seemed a little too power hungry. Do you know what I mean? Not really. Are you gonna roll one or what? Got a light? We've got hull breaches on both floors. Shields are buckling. We must retreat. Not yet. I am detecting a temporal wave to Another office is emerging. We're receiving a transmission. Patch it through. Captain, what are you doing here? Returning the favor is ours. Take position behind our office. Understood. Mark, adjust our position.